Hello dear students, dear audiences. Uh, I am Ömer Ali Girgin. I am a research assistant at Anadolu University, uh, Faculty of Law. Uh, and I am here to introduce you the book Introduction to Law and Chapter 2, Legal Methods. Okay, let's begin with the introduction. In this unit, the following topics will be processed. The subjects of interpretation of statutes and contracts, methods of legal reasoning, how lawyers reason legal texts, methods of interpretation, and finally, uh, legal methods. Okay, our first heading is foundations. How do lawyers think? We will try to answer this question. How do lawyers approach a case? Firstly, different legal systems have different legal thinking methods. Some views, some scholars take law as a science. Some others take it as a systematic body of knowledge. From a very different viewpoint, while civil law thinkers go from principles to conclusion, common law thinkers go from precedents to conclusion. These different conceptions of law have also influenced the sources of law and vice versa. When, when it comes to the legal education, it also varies based on legal system. The American legal education system, for instance, has bottom up. By endlessly varying the details of the case, students are forced into the role of the attorney. By contrast, the civil law approach is more top-down. Law students invariably start with the codes, supplemented with cases and the doctrine. Okay, let's see how about German. In German legal education system, unlike the case method of the American law school, success in resolving the German hypothetical cases depends on the law student's knowledge of the remedial scheme and comprehensive and systematic examination of the relevance of the various provisions to the facts at hand. Legal reasoning. Some major legal reasoning methods are deduction or also known judicial syllogism. The method of finding law based upon deductive reasoning thus means subsuming a case under a legal rule. Analogy. Legal analogy simply means finding the solution to a problem by reference to another similar problem and its solution. Deduction has those functions as follows. Rationality, justification, certainty, and guidance. Interpretation of statutes. Let's begin with the def definition of interpretation. Interpretation is the process of clarifying the true meaning of a written document. When a judicial authority has a case to solve and the statute isn't clear, he she interprets it, so he she decides whether it is applicable to the case in hand. Interpretation in law is one of the most important tasks of jurists, especially in a legal system which is characterized by codifications, such as civil law, legal tradition. Uh, of course, uh, in different legal traditions, uh, there are different methods of interpretation. Now, let's see them and methods of interpretation in civil law tradition. Uh, there are four of them. Textual uh, interpretation method, historical interpretation method, systematic interpretation method, and teleological interpretation method. Uh, and methods of interpretation in common law tradition, the literal rule, the golden rule, and the mischief rule. The currently employed rules and techniques of interpretation in France, Germany, or Turkey 
you know, uh, as we learned before, uh, these countries uh, are in the civil law legal tradition, uh, are rather the results of customary, customary law, judicial practice, and legal writing. By contrast, in common law jurisdictions, there are special interpretation acts which are intended to assist the draftsman or to guide the judge in interpretation. Interpretation of contracts, uh, there are many similarities uh, with the interpretation of uh, statutes. Uh, when we interpret the contracts, uh, we will follow these rules. In many respects, the interpretation of contracts resembles to that of statutes. However, there are some aspects of interpretation that are peculiar to the contracts. For example, when interpreting wills, the interpreter must give effect as far as possible to the testator's intention expressed in the will. Otherwise, canons of construction employed in the interpretation of contracts and statutes are pretty much similar. Now, we will have a look at the role of case law and its interpretation. Interpretation of case law is also an important element of legal method, especially in common law jurisdictions. Indeed, as emphasized before, in order to find the law, the common law judge looks at decided cases rather than statutes or codes. Methodologically, case in inductive as opposed to the deductive structure of abstract norms contained in codes. Induction in this sense simply means that broad principles are derived from a large number of individual decisions or courts. Exceptional cases put aside, as a rule, the case law in civil law is not treated as authoritative. Nonetheless, the most cases, lower courts do follow superior courts' decisions. Okay, now we will learn about gaps in law. Uh, let's begin uh, with the definition of gaps. What does gap mean uh, in uh, law education or law system? Gaps are that certain situations are not regulated in legislation in a legal system. It could be confusing to separate the gap filling action and interpretation action. However, these two are different concepts, different, uh, uh, how to say, uh, terms. Indeed, an interpretation is the possible meaning of the terms in which a norm is stated. On the other hand, gap filling is a kind of judicial lawmaking. So, when we mention interpretation, we can say that there is a norm, and we try to understand it. But when it comes to the gap filling, there is no norm about a particular case. So the judge creates one, but only for the case in hand. Even it's rare, legal norms may conflict each other. In those cases, there are three principles to apply. First of them is the principle of posteriority, lex posterior derogat legi priori. Second one is the principle of speciality, lex specialis derogat legi generali. And last and third one is the principle of superiority, lex superior derogat legi inferiori. So this was our final uh, part of our chapter. Thank you for listening.